everybody, today's November 1st, and we're at a bit of a time crunch here, so I'll make this quick. Uh, we got bins coming today, a couple new fertilizer bins, which is great. They could have been here a long time ago. Uh, they were ready a few weeks back, like a month back. They called in the middle of harvest, they could have delivered it, but we were getting our road built, and we didn't have a pad built. So, Dad's got a pad built. So, we weren't expecting to have these bins until noon-ish. Uh, the last time we got deliveries from Concept, they left first thing in the morning from Winkler. And they showed up around, I wanna say it was like one o'clock or just before one o'clock. I'm not complaining one bit. The guys called us, said we'll be there at this time. They were within like 10, 15 minutes, perfect. Well, I got a call from dispatch yesterday saying, yep, yeah, they'll be there tomorrow. I'm like, oh, perfect. Said it'd be there tomorrow, or tomorrow, as in today. And then five o'clock rolls around. I get a call from uh, a trucker. And he goes, yeah, we'll be there pro probably nine o'clock-ish. I said, oh. How, how's that gonna happen? He goes, well, we're sitting in Redverse right now. I'm like, holy shit. Um, yeah, we, we are behind. We have a pad built. We were gonna do some leveling. Um, the plan was to do it yesterday. The day got away from me dealing with that hot canola. So I gotta get out there. He said they're gonna be leaving, not first light, but probably about half an hour after first light, which is in about 15 minutes. So it turns out dad did a really good job. There's a couple uneven spots. And we gotta try and scuff an inch off of here. But for the most part, despite the amount that I rip on them for having bad eyes, let's see how we're doing over here. Can't see the laser. Still got to come up more. That's about perfect there. Who cares about the middle? Outside. We're going for within half an inch here. yet yeah. that ought to be close Pretty close. So he needs to put another bit right there. Yeah. A little more. All right, so we got a couple more of these guys showing up today. Um, I really like these bins, if I'm honest. There was a couple things I was concerned about when I first ordered it, but they had one in town at Brasses, so I, I took a good snoop at it. You know, keep in mind, I used to build fertilizer plants. 
so I'm very familiar with both the West Steel and the Meridian fertilizer bins. Not so familiar with the, um, what would you call it, the non-commercial side, more, or farming side versus, there were some differences in what the commercial bins look like versus the egg bins. So the commercial bins, usually they had a ring, much like this one, but it was a bolted flange and it was a lot more awkward to change your gate angle if needed. Overall, this one is fairly straightforward. And it's really slick if you ever wanted to change your gate. It's, you, you could, like, to do the work on the underside of the bin is really hard. To take that thing off is like an impact with a 15 16 or three quarters. So that's nothing when the bin's empty. I wouldn't recommend it when the bin's full. Overall, I like how these are specced versus the other brands. These are, I would say, the heaviest bins, heaviest standard spec bins you can get. They said their minimum is like 12 gauge at the top and going down. And so like you can have a lot thinner gauges up top on some of these other bins. And I think that's a big reason that you start seeing a lot of collapses if you have fertilizer bridging and whatnot. Something I was concerned about was this height of the hopper, but I've grown to really like it. All you gotta do is throw a pallet or two underneath. It's really easy to go up. It's a lot harder to go down. They can, I order mine pre specced with the, the poke hole, three sight glasses, and the stainless hardware on the gate. And uh, I just like a lot of the little things that they do, like they enclose this top right there. Um, not, not the biggest fan of their ladder, to be honest. But that's about it. Everything else is pretty slick on these bins. Time too. Ah, shit.
Well, we got them pretty close. Let's see how that gap looks. Actually, surprisingly good. Very little. I think this one's again pretty dang close. But we do need to twist them a little and just square them off, position them just a little better. We got them really close, like within an inch. But we'll do the rest ourselves with the tractor. So just a lot of tugging and filling and once we get her them aligned exactly where we want we'll make sure they're level that'll get under with the forks and we'll uh we'll make sure we fill it in I think we got her spaced out perfect, but it's pretty dang good. <laughs> 